Hello and welcome to the Bot Nirvana podcast where we dive into all things digital automation. I'm your host Nandan Mulakara. While I'm not podcasting, I help people keep up with the fast changing digital technologies at botnirvana.org. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's get right into it. Welcome to today's episode. We are diving deep into the agentic process automation world today or APA. It's a cutting edge paradigm that could transform digital automation by harnessing the power of AI agents. This episode was generated by AI using Google's Notebook LLM, drawing insights from the paper Pro Agent Robotic Process Automation to Agentic Process Automation. Let's check out the future of automation with AI. All right everyone, buckle up because today's deep dive is going to be a wild ride through the future of automation. Yeah. We're talking way beyond those like basic schedule this kind of tasks. Yeah. We're diving headfirst into the realm where AI takes the wheel and handles the thinking for us. Oh yeah. The thinking part. Yeah. You know, like if you could give your computer a really complex task, something that needs analysis, decision-making, maybe even a dash of creativity. That's what we're talking about. And right now, your typical automation tools, they would hit a wall. Hard. They're great at following those rigid, like, step-by-step -step instructions. Like robots. Exactly. But when it comes to anything that requires actual brain power. Still got to do it ourselves. Well, that's where this research paper we're diving into today comes in. It's all about something called Agentic Process Automation, or APA for short. And let me tell you, this stuff has the potential to completely change the game. Okay, for those of us who haven't dedicated our lives to the art of automation, give us the lowdown. What is APA and why is it such a big deal? Think about your current automation workhorse RPA, robotic process automation. It's like that super reliable assistant who never complains but needs very specific instructions for every single step. Right. Amazing at those repetitive tasks, but needs you to hold their hand through every decision point. Exactly. Now, imagine that same assistant but with a secret weapon, an AI sidekick whispering genius solutions in their ear. Okay, now you're talking. That's APA in a nutshell. We're giving RPA a massive intelligence boost. So instead of just blindly following pre-programmed rules, we're talking about automation that can actually think. You got it. APA introduces the idea of agents, which are basically AI helpers embedded directly into the workflow. These agents can analyze data, make judgment calls based on that analysis, and even generate things like reports, all, without a human meticulously laying out each step. So it's not just about automating tasks anymore. It's about automating the intelligence behind those tasks. You're catching on quickly. And this paper focuses on a system called ProAgent as a prime example of APA in action. All right, lay it on us. What is ProAgent? So ProAgent really highlights the potential of APA with two key innovations, agentic workflow construction and agentic workflow execution. Okay, so those are some pretty hefty terms. Can you break those down for us? Let's start with how ProAgent constructs workflows. What makes it so revolutionary? Well, with your traditional RPA, you're stuck painstakingly designing every single step of the process. It's like writing a super detailed manual for a robot. Right, like you don't want the robot to deviate at all. Exactly. But ProAgent flips the script. Instead of you having to lay out every tiny detail. I can just, like, figure it out. You give it high-level instructions and the LLM, that's the AI engine, actually builds the workflow for you. Wait, so it's like you're telling it what you want to achieve and it figures out the how-to. Think of it like having an AI assistant who understands your goals and can translate those goals into a functional workflow. Okay, that is seriously cool. And then agentic workflow execution. That's where those agents we talked about come in, right? They're the ones actually doing the heavy lifting. You got it. ProAgent uses two types of agents, data agents and control agents. They work together like specialized teams within your automated workflow. Okay, I'm really curious about these specialist teams now. Let's start with the data agents. What's their area of expertise? Data agents are the masterminds behind complex data processing. We're not talking simple copying and pasting here. Imagine you need a report summarizing key trends from a massive spreadsheet. Yeah, that sounds fun. A data agent can analyze that data, extract the important bits, and generate a report for you all within the automated workflow. Okay, so if the data agents are the analysts, are the control agents like the project managers making sure it all comes together? That's a great analogy. Control agents handle the dynamic aspects of the workflow, those if this then that scenarios. They can assess a situation and choose the best course of action, just like a human would. Wow. So they're not just following a predetermined path. They're making decisions on the fly. This is 
light years beyond basic automation. It really is. And to really illustrate this, the researchers use a really interesting case study with Google Sheets. Imagine you're a manager and you've got this spreadsheet with hundreds of different business lines. Hundreds of business lines. I can already feel the headache coming on. Right. And each one might have unique needs. Some need detailed reports emailed out. Others might just need a quick update on Slack. Traditionally, you'd need a human to look at each one, figure out the best way to handle it. Oh, for sure. You'd need like a whole team just to manage that. But in this case study, Pro Agent uses a control agent to do the reading and the decision making. So it's not just matching keywords or something. It's actually understanding the context of each business line. You got it. The control agent can actually analyze the description of a business line and say, OK, this one seems more business to customer, so it needs this kind of report. That's pretty impressive. So the control agent is like the conductor of an orchestra, making sure everything flows smoothly and each instrument plays its part at the right time. But what about the actual report writing? That's where those data agents step in, right? Exactly. Let's say the control agent flags a business line that requires like a super detailed performance report. The data agent swoops in, pulls the relevant data points from the spreadsheet, crunches the numbers, and even adds in some insightful summaries. Hold on, it can actually generate insights. Like, it's not just spitting out numbers, it can analyze the data and tell me what's important. That's the really exciting part. This paper shows that ProAgent can tap into the power of LLMs to move beyond just simple reporting. We're talking about identifying trends, comparing performance across different business lines. It could probably even make suggestions based on the data, right? Exactly. Yeah. This is about real data-driven insights. Okay, now I'm really seeing how this could be a game changer. Even for someone like me, who doesn't necessarily geek out over all the you know automation jargon, this has huge implications. It absolutely does. Think about all those tasks in your workday that could be handled by a system like ProAgent. Those things that eat up your time because they involve, you know, gathering information from different places, making judgment calls. It's like those tasks that, you know, could theoretically be automated, but they require that extra bit of human touch. Precisely. APA has the potential to bridge that gap. Imagine, you could be freeing up all this mental bandwidth. All that time you'd normally spend on these tedious tasks, you could be focusing on the strategic stuff, the creative stuff, the work that really needs your unique human perspective. It's like having an army of AI assistants working tirelessly behind the scenes, handling all the heavy lifting so you can focus on the big picture. And it's not just about productivity, it's about reducing that feeling of information overload. APA could help us sift through all the noise, analyze data more effectively, and ultimately make better, more informed decisions. This all sounds incredibly promising, but where do we go from here? What's next for APA and ProAgent? That's the million dollar question. What's so exciting about this research is that it's really just the tip of the iceberg. As LLMs continue to evolve, we can expect to see even more sophisticated versions of APA capable of handling increasingly complex tasks. So we could be talking about even more autonomy, even more intelligence baked into these systems. What kind of impact could that have on the way we work and live? Imagine a world where personalized automation is the norm. Systems like ProAgent could learn your specific preferences, anticipate your needs, essentially become an extension of your own expertise. That's amazing. We're talking about a whole new level of human-AI collaboration where technology augments our abilities instead of replacing them. This feels like a pivotal moment in the evolution of automation. It really does. And while the possibilities are incredibly exciting, it also raises some important considerations about the future of work, how we navigate this evolving landscape. Yeah, it's fascinating to think about. As we're unlocking these new levels of automation, it really makes you wonder, what does work even look like in a future where AI can handle so much of what we do today? Yeah, it's a question we'll all be wrestling with in the coming years, for sure. On the one hand, it's incredibly exciting to think about all the possibilities, right? A world with less drudgery, more time to focus on the things that truly inspire us. But like you said, there are always two sides to every coin. Absolutely. As with any really transformative technology, we need to be mindful of the potential challenges. For example, as APA becomes more and more sophisticated, how do we ensure transparency in the decision making? If an AI is calling the shots, how do we understand its reasoning? Oh, that's such a good point. I mean, it's one thing to trust an AI with scheduling emails, but when we're talking about tasks that have 
you know, real world consequences. Right. Transparency becomes absolutely crucial. We need to be able to see how these systems are arriving at their conclusions. Exactly. And beyond just transparency, there's the crawling of accountability. If an AI makes a mistake, who's responsible? Is it the developers who created the system, the users who deployed it? These are some seriously complex questions. It really highlights how we're entering this new era where ethics and technology are becoming so intertwined. As APA and other AI-driven systems become more prevalent in our lives, it's more important than ever to have open and honest conversations about the implications. A hundred percent. And it's not just about having these conversations among, you know, technologists and policymakers. It's about bringing everyone to the table. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, these technologies are going to impact all of us, right? They will. It's about demystifying AI, making these conversations accessible, and deciding together what role we want these technologies to play. It's not about letting AI dictate the future. It's about using these incredible tools to help us build the future that we want. Well said. I couldn't agree more. Well, on that note, for our listeners, I hope this deep dive has sparked your curiosity about agentic process automation and given you plenty to ponder as we venture into this exciting new frontier of, well, everything. It's been a pleasure exploring these ideas with you. And as always, thank you for joining us on The Deep Dive. We'll see you next time for another deep dive into the world of cutting-edge technology and its impact on our lives. Thank you for joining the Bot Nirvana podcast. Appreciate if you can leave a review on iTunes or wherever you're consuming your podcast. Catch the show notes on botnirvana.org. While you are there, feel free to explore more free digital automation resources and more. See you next time.